112 continued. The second thing the confessor does not allow the soul to express itself frankly and shows impatience. The soul then falls silent and does not say anything it has to say, and by this profits nothing. It profits even less when the confessor, without really knowing the soul, proceeds to put it to the test. Instead of helping the soul, he does it harm. The soul is aware that the confessor does not know it because he does not allow it to lay itself open fully as regards both its graces and its misery. And so, the test is ill-adapted. I have been submitted to some tests at which I have had to laugh. I will express this better thus. The confessor is the doctor of the soul, but how can a doctor prescribe a, suitably, a suitable remedy if he does not know the nature of the sickness? Never will he be able to do so, for either the remedy will not provide the desired effect, or else it will be too strong and will aggravate the illness and sometimes, God forbid, even bring about death. I am speaking from my own experience, because in certain instances it was the Lord himself who directly sustained me.